To begin, right click in the project panel and select New Composition. The defaults work fine, so just hit OK. Then down in your composition, right click and go to New Solid. Select the color you want for your background and hit OK. Now let's right click on the composition panel again and go to New Text. Then just type some text onto your composition. Now let's add a shape layer by right clicking in the composition panel and going to New Shape Layer. And I'm just going to rename the shape layer to Line by right clicking it and selecting Rename. Now up in the toolbar select the pen tool. Click a little bit before the start of your text to create the first point for your line. Then while holding down the shift key click a little past the last letter of your word to create your straight line. Now click on fill options up top. Select the none option and hit OK. Next I'm going to click stroke options. In the pop up choose solid color and hit OK. Then increase the size of the stroke to about 10. Back down in the composition panel, right click and go to New Shape Layer. Rename this one to Rectangle. Then select the Rectangle tool and draw a rectangle above your text so that it's big enough to completely cover it when it goes over it. And I'm just going to quickly get rid of the rectangle stroke and set it to a fill color that's different from my background color so that we can see it properly. Now use the down arrow key to position the rectangle so that it's just covering up the line we created. Back in the composition panel, drag your rectangle layer below your line layer so that we can see the line over the top of it. Then click the toggle switches slash modes button so that you can see the mode and track mat tabs. Now for your text layer, change the track mat drop down to alpha matte rectangle. Then change your rectangle layer's parent to your line layer. Alright, now we just need to add the animation. Expand the line layer's transform properties. Make sure the time head is at the start of the composition. Click the timer toggle next to position to create the first keyframe. Then move the time head to where you want the animation to end. I'm going to put mine at around a half a second. And now, just increase the position's Y value so that the line reveals the text which completes the animation. Alright, this looks decent, but let's make this look a little smoother. Click and drag to select both of your keyframes. Right click one of them and go to Keyframe Assistant Easy Ease. Alright, and now when I play this back, we have a cool looking text reveal in After Effects. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and see you next time.